Boom! What's up everybody? My name is Kim Skywell and today we're gonna be doing the last image in the Cutout War series I'm having uh, going right now. And as you can see, this is a tree with a multicolored background. This is one of the hardest things you can cut out because uh, it's got so many details on the edges and inside holes that needs to be cut out and so on. Uh, and again, we're just going to use the built-in features here in uh, all, both the programs, the quick tools. So we're going to use the selection brush tool. And then we're going to do the refining and do the matting brush and see what Affinity Photo does. And we're going to be timing it and we're going to check out the results at the end. And uh, if you want to learn how to do cut out trees the fancy way, the, the more involved way, the way that I can guarantee before I even start this it's gonna give you a better result in Affinity Photo you can check out this card I hopefully remember to put up here and if you like this tutorial please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and leave your comments down below and uh, we'll just get straight to it cool so we're inside Affinity Photo I'm gonna check my brush tool here and I'm gonna start by masking out this tree so we're just gonna follow it up along the lines here and we're gonna see how well this tool does and we got most of it going okay add this one here I'm just gonna add and I'm holding down shift and just clicking inside these openings uh, not shift sorry alt and uh, that gives us uh, a new selection Okay, so we're gonna hit refine because we can't do much more right now. We're gonna see what the affinity does. And you can see the edges here look pretty decent. So now we just gotta fill in all these blue spots and we gotta, I'm gonna use a little bit bigger uh, brush size on the mat too. And I'm just gonna go over the edges here first and go a little bit inside. That way we have, gives it some areas to check out and then we're going to let the computer work so we don't uh, overload it. Uh, pretty decent job there. Maybe we can we'll see. I, to be honest with you, I don't have high hopes for this. On the inside of the tree here, we're just going to follow the, the outside here again, see what Affinity Photo can do. It doesn't look like it's doing too great now, does it? And let's see if we can get that away.
It doesn't look like it's gonna do a much better job than this. You can see here we have a lot of stuff here that's not uh, not belonging to the tree in between the branches here and so on. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it with this, and we're just gonna do here a selection, new layer, and apply. And at first glance, it doesn't look too bad up here, but you can see that you can still see skies in between. And down here, obviously, that's uh, um, a horror show. So we're just going to add our green screen back here. And then... So this is the first one that I got to say, the affinity, like the quick selection stuff. And uh, the automated or the easy way to cut out stuff uh, mask out stuff hasn't done very well you can see there's a lot of bleed through on here stuff it hasn't gotten to in between but as if you checked out the other video i made the one on how you actually cut out or mask out trees or skies backgrounds when you have trees and very difficult objects um, you can see that Affinity Photo does that really well, but it takes a lot more time, a lot more practice than this. So if you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave your comments down below. I would very much appreciate it. I would like to hear what you think about Affinity Photo's uh, selection tool and refine tool when it comes to doing this type of work. And I'll see you all next time.